that we have painted the inside of the bus with POR 15, we can rush treat the underside of the bus. We want to be able to pass state inspections and safety inspections for years to come. We can continue living in our home. Issa is working on grinding away some of the bigger rust spots now so that we can do all the same steps that we treated the inside with. Let's go see how he's going. It's pretty windy out here. Isa gets to power wash the underside of bus today. I work on more tile for the bathroom. Ready to get wet? I love you. I love you. He's so cute. your cameraman. He's putting on a short gun so that he can get up under there. Obviously the long one is too long. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Oh! Prepping, I use these 80 grit sand disc and then to clean, I used Popo Power Extreme and then just went in, doused the entirety in Osfo. Okay, it's a few hours later and the underside of the bus is dry. Now, Issa is back under there. How's it going? Okay. What are you doing now? Uh, applying Osfo to the rusted areas. Nice. It's been a long day but we are painting the underside now with um, POR 15 and we're gonna see how much we can get done before we're just too tired to continue. Um, but let's go see what Issa has done already. Goodness. Wow. So I'm just on this section. Yeah, so looks far. good, looks good. 
job. Okay. Thanks. Now I am going to help me. Yes. I am struggling. I'm gonna need one of those knee pads, babe. This is definitely not the most glamorous job of owning a schoolie, but it's necessary. And for that reason, we are not gonna film. We are just gonna work, get it done. saw us we were trying to paint but we weren't having very good luck because we were trying to use these they're little cheap foam brushes that i got for a different art project and i was just trying to use them up but they weren't working so my younger sister bless her um her art teacher was gonna throw out these paint brushes but they're still usable they're just really gross and dirty so we already used one up and threw it away. So we're gonna try to use the rest of these brushes. Um, shout out to Lauren, you're the best. Two days ago, there was a thunderstorm and when we were coming out here to paint, a tree fell on us while we were driving. Um, so glad we we're okay, we didn't get hurt, but can't say the same thing for the poor car. The windshield's fucked up, mirror's broken, back window shattered, Issa's crying, <laughs> and the sunroof gone. Honestly, I feel like if it weren't for this roof rack, it would have done a lot more damage than it did. It really ruined the car. Unfortunately, we don't have full coverage. So we're gonna try to fix it ourselves. But that's just another thing to do on our long list of to do. Just another inconvenience. So today we decided to dress up and feel cute so that we can lift our spirits. Today we're gonna have a day off and just chill out. Um, but I wanted to come on here and update you guys on the paint because it is dry and is looking nice and shiny. So much. Can't really see it though. Yeah, there's still a lot of work to do and we're just trying to get the underside done and not have to worry about it anymore. Of course, yes. until we start mounting things under there. Which won't be yet. Um, I think we have figured out where we're going to put some drains in the floor, which is pretty cool. But again, since we're not building yet, nothing's set in stone. But that's all we have to update you guys on today. So we're just going to enjoy our day off today and soak up the sunshine just to reboot after last night's fiasco. Tra tragedy. Absolute tragedy. That's okay. More setbacks.
Issa is out relaxing. I don't think he can hear me right now, but he was up all night painting the underside of the bus. Um, I don't think he's finished yet, but I want bragging rights. I gotta show you guys this. Okay, look, there he is relaxing. But guys, look at this. It looks so good. I'm so glad we're doing this. Hi, bus lifers. Um, I just wanted to get on here to show you what we picked up. How exciting. An oven. There, there's five burners and it's a flat surface. So that means it will be extra counter space. How exciting. All the cookies I'm gonna make in this. I'm gonna be able to host Thanksgiving. Um, it currently doesn't work. We have to get a new circuit board for it. But uh, I am excited for it. I hope we can get it running on solar. But yes, that is all the update for now. Um, goodbye. So we're nearly finished painting the underside of the bus. Unfortunately, life got in the way. Tree fell on my car. We hit a deer with her car. Getting to the work site where the bus is stored at has been a little bit difficult. And then we have been dealing with getting our cars fixed. Multiple delays, just painting the whole underside and prepping, getting rid of all the rust, coating it with POR 15 took a lot of time. We are just now laying down some truck bed liner. We used about 20 cans of that just to cover the back to nearly the front of the bus. Keep that in mind. So this is one gallon and we used about two of these. So the underside is going to be completely finished and virtually rust free. 
It's just been a long process and we're just rolling with the punches. What we did to the underside and the floor on the inside, we got to do all over again to the outside of the bus, um, fix some dense. After we do all that, all the rust prevention stuff is over and we can finally start building, which will be very exciting and hopefully won't take as long. Hopefully life won't keep jumping in our way. Hopefully we won't wreck any more cars. Filming alongside all that is definitely more time consuming as well because then we have to stop, charge the batteries, and most of the time we've just said forget it and let's just get this work done and out of the way because we want to move on to more exciting things, if you will, rather than being under the bus all the time and laying on a bed of rocks and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, it's been, it's been rewarding to say the least. The underside definitely looks a lot better than it did before. Planning for the long haul, spending at least 10, 15 years maybe in the bus. Longevity is definitely the key in, in this project for sure. We may have not have decided on all the design elements, but we know we have a while till we need to start implementing those. So any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Feeling pretty defeated and accomplished all at the same time. I love you. I love you too. We make a good team. Yeah, we do. It's our new fridge. I wanted one to have a top freezer and open from the left. We're excited because if you see right there, it's a Kenmore. And that means it matches the oven we got. We're gonna paint the fridge black so that our appliances match. This five burner stove and this fridge were both free 99. That's what I'm talking about. Now we really gotta go home, I'm exhausted.